Welcome back to Cooking with Glenn and Katie. On today's episode, we're going to be making a tomato, potato, onion pie. We're also going to be making some dressing for some vegetables that we're going to be picking. And finally, we're going to have rotisserie chicken, and I'm going to make some mushroom gravy. Look at all these tomatoes. They're ready to pick. I think I'll pick a couple of them. And we just need one baby squash. So I'm going to take this one right here. And we need some pepper. So I've got a banana pepper here. And I'm just going to take this one. This will be enough for us today. For the herbs, we need some thyme. So I've got lots of thyme down here. So I just cut some of that. And then we will get some rosemary. So I'll get a sprig of rosemary. Yeah, I've cut the tomatoes up and I salted them and I put them in this colander and I let them sit for about 30 minutes to get the juices out. But look at this, that's how much juices came out. To me, it's not, it's not quite enough. I get a towel and I've got a lot of towels around the house and I line the towel with paper towels. So there we go. And then I just take the time and put the tomatoes on here like this. So I just put them on here and then I will roll the towel up and let them dry while we cut the potatoes up. I've got all the tomatoes here, and I take another thing of paper towels, and I roll it, tear it off, and this is what I do. I flip the extra over here like that, and I just roll it up like this. Each year I have volunteer potatoes come up. The exciting part is to find out what kind of potatoes they are. This year we have some red potatoes, and you'll see some pictures of Isaac pulling those up. It was a while back, so we don't have any of those current pictures, so you can't see us pulling them up. But you'll definitely be able to see how we're using them. The chickens do not eat peelings of the potatoes, and so we don't feed them to the chickens. So they go to the compost pile, and eventually they get in the garden. A lot of times there's some eyes that are left on here. That's how I get these. Coat this with some oil, so I got my butter bell. I'll just go around this with some butter. I like to start with putting the potatoes in, putting a good layer on the bottom. It's kind of like the crust, but it really isn't. The next thing, we will put a layer of onions and a layer of tomatoes, and then we'll dot it with some butter. So I went ahead and chopped up the rings of onions. I'm just going to layer these on here like this. Now I'm going to unroll the tomatoes. There we go. And I'll take the paper towel off. I'll take the tomatoes. I'll put the layer. To me it looks really good. I will put some garlic salt pepper on here and then I will dot it with some butter. That's going to make it really good. So let me get a couple more pieces on here. Well I'm about finished. Before I put the last layer I need to make some liquid to go in it and I've got some chicken stock that I made last night and I'm going to get cream. I'm going to blend these two together and I'm going to put it on the casserole. So it's going to be excellent. Yeah, I'm putting the last pass of butter on, and I'm going to put the top with the potatoes. The last part is to put the cheese on the top, so I'm going to sprinkle it around. This will make a very nice topping. I've got this ready to go in. The oven is preheated at 350 degrees, and I'll cook it for an hour. Hey Google, set a timer called potato pie for one hour. Sure, a one hour timer called potato pie starting now. Now we're going to make our dill salad dressing. Our ingredients are a half a cup of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil, garlic, salt, and pepper, and dill. Now, if you're from the South, you know only Duke's mayonnaise can be used. Now to get started. I'm going to scoop my mayonnaise out. It may not be exactly a half a cup. It's gonna be as close as I can. Who doesn't love mayonnaise? Now, we're gonna do our one tablespoon of rice vinegar. Next is the two tablespoons of olive oil. Man, this is gonna have a hearty source of fat. <laughs> the final two ingredients are the garlic, salt, and pepper, and the dill. So again, we're gonna be adding one teaspoon of a garlic, salt, and pepper. And again, I'm just a guesstimator. <laughs> Regarding the dill, my dad took the leaves off the stems and chopped it. So it's still dill-like, but chopped. I'm gonna pour the dill in. 
And now we're gonna mix it up. Look at this, you guys. Doesn't it look delicious? You try it? Sure. What do you think? They're really pretty good. Now we're gonna let this sit so the dill can infuse the salad dressing. Also, if you like sweeter salad dressings, feel free to add some sugar, about one or two teaspoons, or to taste. My dad really enjoys sweeter salad dressings, but I do not. So he's being so giving today by dealing with a completely non-sweet salad dressing. Isn't he amazing? We just finished chopping all the vegetables from the garden, and I'm gonna show you what we have. We have mixed cucumbers, squash, onions, sweet peppers, tomatoes, and now we're going to add in some jalapeno peppers. Mmm. We're gonna mix these up and then we can add our salad dressing however we like it at the table. I bought a rotisserie chicken, but the chicken is kinda dry. I'm gonna make some mushroom gravy. To begin with, I'm gonna put some butter in the pot here and it will heat up. And in just a second, I'll be putting some mushrooms in it. Put the mushrooms in here. And I'll saute them for a couple minutes. I'll take the mushrooms out, and then I'm going to go ahead and make the gravy. Pat of butter. There we go. And I'm going to put some flour in here. Sit in here for about a minute. I'm adding chicken stock to the flour, and I'm mixing it up so it doesn't lump. It's lumping a little bit, and I've got to beat out the lump so it gets smooth. And I put garlic in here, too. I'm gonna add the mushrooms in and I'll be cooking it until it thickens. I am currently stirring for dad as he adds in the Worcestershire sauce. And I'm gonna add about a little over a teaspoon. Kinda gave up on it getting thick, so I added some cornstarch to it. Now it's time to put the chicken in. I tasted it, it's good, but it needs a little salt. Here we go. And here is the finished product of the beautiful potato, tomato, onion casserole. This is the plate. I hope it's gonna be good. I'm gonna put some dressing on it. Look how thick it turned out. Looks great. Mine looks amazing too. I'm gonna go ahead and add some dressing to my salad as well. We didn't use lettuce because my mom always loved just having vegetable salads without lettuce. We are also drinking what I've nicknamed the Fruit Spectacular. This is a blend of green tea and seasonal fruits that dad had from his garden, blackberries, raspberries, and grapes. Blueberries, blackberries, and grapes. Looks good. I've got it all soaked in. Probably have too much dressing. I like too much dressing. Very thin. I just tried some of the salad dressing and wow, you can taste the dill. Letting it just sit 20, 30 minutes, excellent. And now I'm gonna go ahead and try some of the potatoes and tomatoes and onions. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna grab from first. Well, don't know what I'm grabbing, but Mmm. Mm hmm It tastes like amazing hash browns on steroids. I'm gonna try the potatoes too. This was my favorite, so I hope it turned out. And I'll know if it turned out right, because I know how it tastes. Here we go. Mmm. Very good. Now let me try this chicken with some, with some mushroom. Very good, it brings moisture into the chicken. Excellent. Now I'm gonna try the chicken and the mushrooms. Let's see how this goes. Let me cut off a piece of chicken and the mushroom, like this. Mm-hmm. Thanksgiving in a plate. Look who came to join us. <laughs> Isaac, it's really good. My favorite is this, salad. We really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today. If you enjoyed, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and share this with your friends. And be sure to stay tuned for our video next week. We'll see you later.